Hi, I'm Russ Reed. I'm the Executive Director of the National Center for the Biotechnology Workforce here at Foresight Tech in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We're part of BioNetwork, uh, and BioNetwork is a statewide organization that uh, does training for workers and training for students. Uh, we have a great opportunity this uh, summer coming up in June 2015. For the month of June, we would like to invite up to 12 uh, instructors. They can be from community colleges, they can be from high schools, or they can be from universities. Uh, the key component is they, they would have to want to do a 30-day session learning about the biosciences. And um, we actually take people right across North Carolina to see the various institutions that do the biosciences here in North Carolina. And at the same time, they'll have the opportunity to work at various colleges doing hands-on skills, lab skills. So it's not necessary that you be a bioscience instructor, but it is important that you want to take a message of what is happening in the biosciences back to your college uh, to uh, contextualize the curriculum so that people have a better idea what the biosciences are trying to achieve. So um, we invite you to come. Uh, there'll be visits to uh, Alamance Community College, Rowan Cabarrus Community College, uh, the Capstone Center, which is a part of Bio Network at Wake Tech uh, Community College. Um, there'll be uh, visits to Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine, NC State Centennial Campus, uh, and in addition to uh, North Carolina Central's Bright. Um, and uh, at the same time, there'll be many visits to industry partners such as Biogen Idact. Uh, in the past, we've visited Tengion, Targacept. So we look forward to seeing you um, to come to the Biosciences Industry Fellowship uh, Program for the month of June uh, 2015 here at Winston-Salem at Foresight Technical Community College. Thank you. My name is Heather King. Um, I teach developmental math here at Forsyth Technical Community College. I chose the BIF program because every summer I like to do some kind of professional development activity and I thought it would be a good one. I knew nothing about biotechnology before the program and thought it would possibly help me with my math courses. Um, I've learned a lot of applications that I can take and use in my developmental math courses. I'm planning hopefully to redesign the courses and put the applications in the individual developmental math courses to help the students to make math more relevant for them. I would re recommend this program to others. I think it's really beneficial especially um, for those teachers or instructors that know nothing about biotechnology. I learned so much about just the biotechnology field and I think it would help English instructors, business instructors to help them incorporate some of the same ideas in their classes. Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Gavart. I work for St. Louis Community College at Florissant Valley Campus, and I am a program coordinator and biology faculty member. I chose to come to the BIFP program because I was really interested in learning more uh, different industry skills, really. In St. Louis, we have a lot of agriculture and sort of crop biotechnology companies, and we're starting to see more of the pharmaceuticals and chemical technology pop up, and I would really like to be able to learn those skills since I know North Carolina has a lot more of those sorts of companies in the area and then bring those skills and expectations from that industry back for my students. While the industry experiences were top notch, it was really learning from my colleagues that I found loving the most in the end. I would definitely recommend the BIF program to others, uh, not only learning from a variety of people in multiple disciplines, but just the exposure to industry and recognizing that the industry really does want to work with the community colleges and help to enhance student learning so that our students have the best skills possible to come into their industry and their companies and really succeed without needing a lot of training before. My name is Igor Kredin. I am a professor of physics and engineering department in Suffolk University, and I am also adjunct professor at Roxbury Community College STEAM department. I already have background in physics and engineering, and uh, biotechnology is new field of engineering and uh, this program is an excellent way to have new experience in this field. I definitely will recommend this program to other 
uh, instructors and professors because this is, a, again, excellent way to have the new experience in this fast-growing field of industry. My name is Damon Lindell. I'm currently an academic advisor and adjunct here at Forsyth Technical Community College. I currently serve on an agroscience uh, consortium out of North Carolina State University under Dr. Lisa Guillaume, and that sparked my interest in the whole bioscience, agroscience um, technologies. And when I saw this came about, this was an opportunity that was too good to pass up. I learned that almost anything is possible, you know, if you have the right collaboration of folks, professionals working together, and along with the, the biosciences, biotechnologies, I learned that there's so many different entities coming together, engineers, scientists, chemists. I would strongly recommend it uh, for everyone. It's a great discipline, uh, it's needed, and it's, um, it's valued work. It's going to be very um, beneficial for the global community in general.